Hey everyone, uh, this is just a quick sound check. If you can hear me, enter a hello. I can hear you into the questions box just so I know my audio is working. Okay, perfect. Thanks, guys. I can see uh, people can hear me. So we're going to get started in about five minutes here, just after the hour, um, waiting on a few more arrivals. So thanks for your patience.
right, everyone, we're going to get started in just one more minute here. I can see a few more people are still uh, popping on, so we'll give everybody just another minute and then we'll get started. Okay, so welcome everyone to today's webinar. Um, my name is Dan Logi. I manage the technical support department for Unitronics uh, USA branch. And today's webinar, um, actually we have two webinars, right? We have one now, and then we have another one at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern time on data logging. So if you're interested in that, feel free to, to join that one as well. Uh, but this webinar here is gonna focus on Unitronics website. Um, there's a lot going on on the Unitronics website, so, so this webinar is intended to uh, go over some navigation um, and let you know what's available and where to find it. We'll also be showing the software quickly just to show where the help files and examples are for each software package. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please enter them real time into the questions box. I will be monitoring that for any questions that you guys have. Uh, and feel free, uh, and I do apologize in advance for uh, the congestion here. I'm just getting over a little, a little cold, so uh, bear with me on my voice here. So let's get started. All right, so Unitronics website. Uh, the main website is unitronics.com. Very simple, right? And it's going to bring up a couple of different options for you on the main page. You can access the PLC and HMI page the UniCloud page, the motion control solution page, or the cannabis section of the website um, marketed specifically for cannabis solutions. So we're gonna go over these uh, one at a time here. In the first one, it's gonna be the link for the PLC and HMI all in one. That's gonna bring you to unitronicsplc.com. <clears throat> and here, you're gonna find software downloads for all of our products, uh, no charge software downloads, current versions and previous versions. You'll find training videos, installation guides and spec sheets for all the products. Uh, all CAD drawings or, or 3D or 2D drawings are available here. Catalogs, certifications like UL ratings or class one div two, uh, what controllers meet what certifications. There will be some information on training seminars, industry stories, technical forums. You'll be able to contact the support or sales departments from this page, and you'll also find the distributor zone, uh, which we'll cover in depth as well. So let's take a look at the website. <clears throat> Here, I'm at unitronics.com, and I'm clicking on the PLC plus HMI all-in-one. And it's going to bring me to the unitronicsplc.com. There will be drop down menus at the top here. I'm going to start with products. Uh, you'll see the PLC, that's the, the Unistream PLC only, the USC models. If I hover over PLC plus HMI, you'll see everything is broken down into groups the Unistream series, Vision, Samba, Jazz M91. Right, so I can, if I'm looking for information on the B1210, I can access that page here. It'll bring me to a page specifically for the V1210. So I'll have some pictures, some information about PLC and the HMI, and more, right? We also have that same uh, kind of tree here for motion control products, right? 
servos and VFDs, the UniCloud page, accessories, right, like I.O. and, uh, and routers. So everything there under the products drop-down menu is uh, broken down into its family, if you will. Next, let's take a look at the softwares. Uh, UniLogic, VisiLogic, and U90 Ladder. UniLogic is for UniStream. VisiLogic is for Vision and Samba controllers. And U90 Ladder is for Jazz and M91. I'll take a look at uh, UniLogic to start. And again, all of these packages will be uh, no charge downloads, right? Free downloads. And you'll see you can navigate here at the top, right? If I am on the Unilo uh, UniLogic page and I want to go to VisiLogic or U90, there are some hot keys here. I can download the latest version at the top, or I can scroll down, and you'll see the latest version available here. You'll see the full examples folder available for download. You'll see a version change and bug report. This will be a, a PDF or a Word document uh, showing you uh, the different changes across versions. Uh, maybe you're encountering an issue with a certain version. <coughs> you can take a look and see if uh, there was a bug report in that version for that feature. Previous versions are always available here. Uh, this is just in case uh, you have a controller in the field with a previous version and you would you, you don't want to update it, right? You can download the previous version here. If you're looking for one that isn't available here, uh, you know, this is going back pretty far here. But if you're looking for an older one or maybe one you don't see listed, you can always email our support department. You can see the system requirements for UniLogic here. You'll also see uh, additional software tools at the bottom. This is a data converter, converting uh, data sampler files and data table files into Excel and vice versa. So this is a uh, additional software tool specifically for UniLogic. Now, if I take a look at the VisiLogic section, it's going to be very similar. You'll see the latest download here. Version changes, previous versions, system requirements. Uh, the reason I'm opening up this page real quick is for the additional utilities. Uh, VisiLogic <coughs> comes with a lot more uh, utilities, right? A lot of things are built in to the Unistream that, that maybe aren't in Vision and Samba. So here you'll see remote access or remote operator, data export to extract data from the controller, Uni Downloader and Download Manager our downloading tools for mass downloads and for uh, packaged downloads. SD card suite is how you interact with the SD card remotely or in some cases locally. Uh, licensing will protect your program uh, and enable certain parts based on the license that you give the customer. And then a few more tools here. There's also the programming tools for developers, like .NET drivers and stuff like that. Uh, so there's a lot of additional functionality at the bottom here that I wanted to show. Uh, finally, U90 Ladder. We talked about it. It's for Jazz and for uh, M91. And latest version and previous versions are available for download here. Okay, so that's a software overview there, where to find it, how to download it. Next, uh, and probably the most important drop-down, in my opinion, is the technical support drop-down. Here, you'll find the technical library. This will have all the technical information on Unitronics products, and it's going to be broken down into categories, like Unistream hardware, and then the I.O. and COM for Unistream, Vision hardware, I.O. and COM for Vision, Jazz, Samba, Servo, VFD, some important guidelines like our wiring guidelines and best practices, accessories. This will be things like routers, some discontinued products in case you still need the specs and the installation guides, and finally the product catalogs. 
So I'm going to take a look real quick and show you. Um, we'll use the Unistream hardware as a demo here. And I'll take a look at a built-in, maybe a five-inch controller here. Maybe the T42. Here's the installation guide for that unit. I can open it up in a new tab. And in the installation guide, you'll find things like wiring instructions, mounting instructions, dimensions. Right, if I scroll down a little bit here, uh, here's my terminal look at the controller, and here's my wiring. If the controller has any jumpers or dip switch settings, it'll be called out in this manual here. So we rely very heavily on these uh, installation guides for wiring instructions and installation instructions. Now, with the installation guide, there will also be a specification sheet, right? And this will call out uh, any limits of the controller, like power limits or I.O. limits, right? So if I open up the spec sheet for that same controller, and I scroll down, I'll see the input range, the current consumption of the devices, whether or not there's any isolation on the power, some information about the screen, some communication information, and finally I'll get to the input uh, and output limitations, right? This controller has 24 digital inputs. They can be sync or source. 500 volts AC for one minute is uh, the isolation for this uh, this device. If I scroll down further, I'll find analog input information, relay output information, transistor output, and finally some environmental information like operating temperature range, storage temperature range, humidity, and more. <clears throat> So again, each device is gonna have an installation guide, right? That's how you install the unit, how you wire the unit. Each device will also have a specification sheet. These are the uh, limits or the specs of the device. Those are all, again, available for download here. We also have 2D and 3D drawings of all products located here. So if I just take a look at the 3D drawings, <coughs> I'll see, uh, for example, the built-in seven inch, I can download that. And if I take a look at the download, it's going to download as a .7z file, right? And this confuses some people. Uh, this is a compressed file type, okay? Uh, it's a way to package multiple files into one compressed file type. If I right click on it, I uncompress the file with a program called 7-Zip. 7-Zip is a free download, 7-Zip.org. And you can download this package, install it. And now you can use this to extract this file here. I can right click on it, go to 7-Zip and extract files here. And you'll see this is gonna be a very common thing, right? Uh, because there are a lot of files uh, in this folder here that we just unzipped, we will be compressing and packaging most downloads into a 7z file type. So I'll go ahead and open up this folder. I can see I got my PDF, uh, my step file, right, which is common for AutoCAD, my x underscore t file, again, same thing, AutoCAD file, and my IGS file. Okay, so that's how you download and unzip the CAD drawings. And this is just for Unistream, right? If I'm looking for uh, a Vision product, that would be under the Vision dropdown. And you'll see I have all the Visions broken down into their categories. User guide and spec sheet, install guide and spec sheet. Uh, 2D and 3D drawings down here at the bottom. <coughs> okay, if I just scroll down to product catalogs, these are the online catalogs here. 
We have our controller catalog and our motion catalog. I can drop that down and I can open up the US version of the catalog. Close out some of these other tabs. And here you are, a online catalog for you. Uh, very useful. I use this all the time. I don't carry paper catalogs, right? So you can just open this and take a look at our most up-to-date catalog. And uh, just for Walter here, I'll go ahead and open up the motion catalog and show you. Uh, we also have that here for viewing as well. This will include our servo and our VFD products in a catalog form. Okay, perfect. So that's the technical library. Um, everything Again, everything's broken down in the categories. Installation guides, spec sheets, CAD drawings, all available here. Next, let's take a look at what else we have under technical support. We have the Help Center. This is where you can open up a new ticket with our support team. And we also have some knowledge base and some articles here, <coughs> uh, as well as some, uh, some advanced demo programs and guides, right? Like Ethernet IP with Alan Bradley, 64-bit unsigned integer, things like that. And everything's broken down, again, into categories, right? So you'll see Unitronics VFD has 21 uh, knowledge-based topics on it. So if you're looking for something quick, um, you can browse to it here. You can also just open up a ticket with our support team. We're happy to guide you to the correct uh, topic. Okay, FAQ. If I take a look at that, uh, these are frequently asked questions on all three software packages, right? UniLogic, VisiLogic, and Unity Ladder. And everything is broken up into categories. So if I take a look at UniLogic, I can drop down, maybe you know, looking for PID information. And I can maybe get a quick answer here. For example, how many PID loops does Unistream support? Up to 64 simultaneous loops. So the FAQ is a nice uh, option if you're if you're looking for a quick answer as well. Okay, the next topic I want to talk about are videos and tutorials. Um, again, under technical support, videos and tutorials. Um, these are videos that my team has put together over the past you know 10 years. Uh, there are a lot of topics here, a lot of videos. Um, that will get you started and teach you a topic, right? So under general, I'll see things like uh, getting started, the servo tutorial, which Thomas did, it's fantastic. It gets you started with servo. Under logic and application, we'll have information about structs, HMI programming, trending, data logging, languages, PID, alarming. And then under communication, Modbus, Ethernet IP, FTP, sending email, and more, right? So we have topics on our, or uh, videos, rather, on a lot of different topics here. Um, and it's going to teach you the topic from beginning to end, right? So, for example, the Modbus video, <coughs> it's maybe about 20 or 30 minutes, um, and it teaches you how to program Modbus. And again, at the top, this is a common theme, right? We will have uh, everything broken down into the relevant software. So this is the UniLogic videos. You can also click on VisiLogic. VisiLogic has its own set of tutorial videos specific to VisiLogic. Okay, perfect. Uh, help files are available via the web if you prefer it. They're also built into the software. I'll show that uh, after we finish our website overview. Next, certificates, right? Uh, these are the certifications that the controllers meet. 
So again, under technical support, certificates. If I take a look here, you'll see the link to the UL products. UL for hazardous locations, that's class one div two. CUL and CUL for hazardous locations. <coughs> then we have some other information about more specific certifications, right? Like uh, FDA uh, 21, CFR part 11. Some VFD certifications, right? And I can take a look here first. Maybe under the UL products, I'll open up that link. And you'll see we have a lot of products that are UL certified. Um, one little tip that I do like to give people, uh, if you don't see your controller on this list right away, uh, or IO module, right, don't panic. Take a look at the UL website, right? Sometimes <laughs> something was very recently certified, uh, and this has not been updated yet, but the UL directory will for sure have it. So I'll go ahead and open that up quick. It's free to create a username to the UL website. I'll go ahead and sign in. And this will bring you directly to the Unitronics page for approved devices. Right, and again, this is gonna be the most up-to-date list here. So again, this is the UL list. Uh, you'll find um, most, if not all of our products here. Um, <coughs> if I take a look at the CUL, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, UL for hazardous locations, class one div two. Uh, you'll see it's a little bit less, but we do still have quite a few products that meet class one div two. I'll take a look at the UL page. And these are the products that meet class one div two rating, or that are certified for class one div two. Okay, so that's the certificate page. Uh, next, trainings and seminars. These are uh, in-person trainings and in-person seminars. Click on it. Uh, here's the, the breakdown of our training schedule. Days one and two are Unistream. Day three is UniCloud and Motion. And then Vision and Samba to end the week. Uh, right now, uh, we just finished up our, tr our last training here for 2022. Our 2023 schedule will be coming out shortly. Right now, we, uh, we have not finalized that yet, so nothing is posted. But that will be coming out shortly. All right, uh, we also have our technical forum here under technical support. Uh, this is a forum where users create topics and help each other on anything from issues they, they encounter to applications and more, right? So this is a great uh, community here with a lot of different information from different users. Okay, next quick industry stories. You'll see a lot of different industries on this page here at the top. Pumping applications, packaging, oil and gas, food and beverage. And you can click on one of these and get some industry specific uh, testimonials or app stories. It's a nice little way to uh, you know, show new users what we're capable of, what industries we might fit into. Okay, distributor zone is a big one. I'm gonna show that in just a minute. Um, the last one here, contact us. You can contact support or sales directly from here. I can go ahead and go to support and submit a ticket to our support team. Of course, you can always call us as well, right? We are around. Okay. So that's a general overview of the website. Um, next, I'm going to go into the distributor zone. But I am going to show, before I do that, 
some information about the some information about the distributed zone here. Uh, we have a username and a password for you. If everybody wants to take a moment and jot that down, <coughs> uh, it's how you access the distributor zone. This is a zone that we created or a website that we created specifically for you to download distributor specific content like success kits, webinars that we put on for our distributors, brochures, newsletter content, success stories, presentations, press releases, and more. So again, the username and password here, distributor's username, password, uni partners, one, two, three, exclamation point, at sign, pound sign. So I'll go back to the website, click on distributor zone. I am already signed in. Right, if you weren't signed in, it'll prompt you for that username and password. <coughs> and here's all the distributor specific content. I have a UniCloud success kit, EtherCAT success kit, UniStream success kits, medical ventilator application kit, servo kit, UniStream PLC only kit, remote IO kit, VFD, MQTT, multi-touch, and a few more kits for you here. And uh, I'm not gonna open up all of them. I am gonna just show you what one looks like. So here, uh, I downloaded the UniCloud kit. And again, we're gonna see that .7z file, right? It's a zipped file. I can right click, use the 7-zip application, to extract files here. Here's my folder for the UniCloud kit. <coughs> if I go ahead and enter that, we'll have things like the UniCloud logo in picture form, uh, some banners, distributor announcements, uh, some email signatures, right, that you can add to your email for marketing content. Uh, a few more images, some press releases, a UniCloud presentation for you to use. If you need to present the UniCloud to a customer, right? So a lot of UniCloud specific information here uh, that you can use uh, for press purposes, marketing purposes, or presentation purposes. Okay, if I scroll down a little bit, we'll see the product catalogs are available here, webinars that we've done for the, uh, for the distribution channels, right? Like the BFD launch, the servo launch, um, UD Logic webinars and more. Some brochures here, right? Like how to choose an automation provider, <coughs> some pump brochures, some packaging brochures, ventilator brochures, the 4G router. Taking a look at some product pictures here. If you ever need some pictures of a product, they're all available for download here. Some white pages. how to choose a Unitronics PLC, and more. Some marketing materials for your trade shows, content for your next newsletter, success story brochures. And finally here, I just wanna mention the presentations available to you, right? Um, we have presentations on some major topics here. And we also have them per industry, right? So if you're looking for a uh, energy specific or packaging specific presentation uh, on some application stories, they're all available here, right? Even vehicle, right? The new uh, vehicle charging protocol and more. 
All right, so the distributed zone is fantastic, right? It's got a ton of information that you can use here uh, to, you know, help uh, present to your customers and market to your customers. Okay. So one thing, um, hold on for just a moment for me, everyone. All right, sorry about there, that there. So I was taking a look at the questions here. Uh, are there any plans to add ordering status to the website? Uh, great question. Uh, I will pass that feedback. Currently, that is not an option, but you can always contact the sales channels. And they can take a look at your order for you. Okay, so that's the distributor zone there. Next, I wanna to touch on the UniCloud website. So if we go back to unitronics.com. See the UniCloud website here to the right, if I click on it, it's gonna bring me to unitronics.cloud. This is the cloud specific portion of the website. At the top here, you'll see similar downloads or similar drop downs rather to the last website. Under UniCloud, you'll see things like the major functions of UniCloud dashboard building, data visualization, secure remote access, organization management, and more. Under the Getting Started page, this is going to be tutorial videos and guides on getting started, right? So here, this is taking the dashboard for a test drive. You'll see information about connecting Unistream controllers to the cloud, a video, and a demo project, as well as step-by-step -step, uh, PDF. Information about connecting uh, Vision, Samba, and Jazz. Both the connecting and the router setup. And connecting third-party devices to the UniCloud via Modbus. Again, we have tutorial videos and PDF guides on those topics for UniCloud. Next, you'll have the security fundamentals. This will be um, a security overview of the UniCloud and may answer some questions for your customers who have security concerns. Uh, basically, it's, it's outlining the methods used, right? Like REST APIs over TLS, MQTT, X.509, certificate authentic uh, authentication. a few security uh, cloud certifications, some VPN information, and more. At the top, you'll also find um, a basic uh, pricing guide, right? This is uh, <coughs> our publicized pricing here. Again, it's per plan, per device, and per how many uh, tags. You'll be communicating to the cloud and at what interval. We also have an enterprise plan and a premium branding option. So if you're looking some base, if, or if your customer's looking for some basic pricing, some estimated pricing, they can take a look here. Under hardware, we also have PLCs and routers information. 
And yeah, so that's the overview of the UniCloud portion of the website. Again, it's UniCloud specific. There's a lot of information there for customers looking to get started. Okay, next is the motion portion of the website. So if we go back to unitronics.com. <coughs> the bottom right is going to be the uh, motion specific portion. And here you're going to find information on VFDs and servos. You'll see a very nice servo made simple video that introduces you to Unitronic servo platform. You'll see links to hardware. Some Unilogic info with motion and Visilogic info. The product offerings. Motor specifications, drive specifications, some dimensions. Some EtherCAT uh, specific information here. The servo user manual. Any accessories that come along with the servo. And then you'll find the CAD drawings here. 2D and 3D drawings. <coughs> okay. And finally, the last uh, the last section of the website I'm going to show is the cannabis specific portion. So cannabis is a uh, growing market here, and we uh, Unitronics did some marketing and some uh, investigation directly into this market here, and created a fantastic. A uh, portion of the web page kind of explaining Unitronics capabilities in this industry, right? So Unitronics is a great all-in-one solution for applications for cultivation, extraction, and filling and packaging. <coughs> uh, and if you take a look at each section, it will show you uh, some information specific to cultivation, extraction, and filling and packaging in the cannabis industry. All right, so at this point, I'm going to be taking uh, a look at the questions here. If you have any questions, please enter them into the questions box now. Okay, so I do see uh, another one on uh, lead times and orders. So currently, the only option to check these is to contact Unitronics sales channels. Uh, you can contact sales here, or of course, call our phone number uh, and get our uh, sales team customer service um, on the phone, and they can answer any questions you might have. Uh, it's good feedback, though. I will pass it to our to our website management. Okay, is it possible to search? Uh, so, Jim, I've never really tried it, but there is a option up here for searching. Let's see if I can search V1210. Okay, so I, if I search V1210, it does pop up with uh, a variety of information like CUL products, UL products. So I'm assuming that uh, it's finding that in the certificates page. Uh, and then it does end up coming up with the V1210 here. That's going to bring me to the product page, right? So uh, search functionality is there in the top right. I Again, I haven't... It's not something that I use on the daily, but um, you can give it a shot. And if you have any feedback, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to pass it.
Okay. Um, so at this point, if there are no more questions, um, that's what I had for you. You can always email our support team, support at unitronics.com, or give us a call. Um, we're happy to point you in the right direction if you can't find something on our website. Um, and yeah, thanks everybody for attending. I hope this was helpful and have a happy holidays. Thank <laughs> you.